So here's our stock number U1074. It's a 98U1600 full agricultural spec with the added benefit of an Atkinson Voss intercooler and upgraded injection fitted in 2009 to give about 200 horsepower. Let's go and have a closer look. The whole Unimog is in its original white paint from the factory. It's held up remarkably well for its age with only a few small patches of rust on the cab. The same can be said for the rear body. Sides are original, very straight, undented and original paint. This is certainly a Unimog that if you repainted it would come up absolutely beautifully. We can repaint it in your choice of colour, uh, inside and out, including the chassis and wheels, at a cost of about £2,500. Tyres are 445-70R24 Continental AC70s all round. Uh, excellent tread remaining, about 90% left on the front. Also an aluminium diesel tank fitted, don't have to worry about rust in that. And again nice tyre fitted on the rear, approximately 80% tread left on the rear tyres. So all the agricultural equipment on the back end, rear three point linkage, it's a heavy duty linkage with the quick release arms. A hydraulic pickup hitch for agricultural trailers and a rear PTO shaft. It's a two speed PTO, 540 and 1000 speed. Again, nice tyres on this side of the Unimog and the same story for the paintwork. Also, a stainless exhaust stack fitted and indeed a complete stainless exhaust system so you don't need to worry about replacing that for a good few years useful toolbox fitted on the underside of the rear body as well same story on the cab from this side uh, you can see the Atkinson Voss intercooler bonnet and grille it's also the high top cab which makes it ideal for top hat wearers who uh, like to drive Unimogs. So the dashboard is all clean, complete and present and correct. This Unimog has covered 132,000 kilometres and just over 7,000 hours. So on the gear nest we have three double acting spool valves uh, controlling linkage pickup pitch and tipper ram at the moment. Uh, the low range gears are air operated by this switch here and the PTO controlled by these two levers here along with a separate air clutch. A front PTO can be added at extra cost if required. So onto the engine compartment Engine is the original OM366. Atkinson Voss intercooler fitted there along with the gearbox oil cooler in front of it. Everything present and correct and uh, working as it ought to.